Good morning, brothers and sisters. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Doug White down here in Alabama. <clears throat> How's everybody doing this morning? Anyway. That's a video I made at the end of the day yesterday. I'm going to try to do it over again. I kept calling uh, John. <laughs> The, uh, John the Revelator kept calling the Apostle John Paul but anyway I want to redo this one because <clears throat> kept calling you know using the wrong name on that video so I kind of redo that I was tired anyway <clears throat> and it was kind of getting warm out there in that car but anyway I want to talk about this 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 uh, the verse I was talking about the great multitude yesterday of, of people that we were uh, we had God poor in mercy and uh, a lot of you know a lot of times we think of God as poor in mercy you know when we don't when we look around us we, we uh, tend to see a snake under every rock <laughs> but right in my old age I look for God's people you know Everywhere I go, I look for attributes of God in people. But anyway, this great multitude that John saw <laughs> on the Isle of Patmos when he uh, it was revealed to him. Uh, let me just read that verse again and uh, expound on it. See, the, the thing here is that Jesus Christ has all power. Right now, all power in heaven and earth is given to him. Whether people believe it or not, all power is right now in his possession, in God's possession. And he has a kingdom, <clears throat> a heavenly kingdom, right now, brothers and sisters, right now. Not going to be, but right now. And that kingdom has no end. It goes on forever and ever, <laughs> brothers and sisters. And see, uh, that's the way I believe down here in Alabama anyway. <laughs> in my in Doug White's view. He's ruling and reigning from heaven. And he has a people in that kingdom that there was no condition whatsoever placed upon any of the any of his uh people that he loved from the foundation of the world, in my view, down here in Alabama. But anyway, uh anyway, John John was taken up. Or he saw this. Whatever how you want to put it. John saw it. And here's how it's recorded in the in the in the gospel of in the in the book of Revelation. This how it's, it's, I think it's seven and nine. This is how he recorded. After this I beheld, and lo, a great multitude which no man could number, of all nations and kindred, and people, and tongue, stood before the throne, and before the Lamb, clothed with white robes, and palms in their hands. Brothers and sisters, here we are in the first century, uh, a great multitude which no man could number. Can you, can you imagine? And it was talked about, I think, in other parts of the scripture, like the sands by the seashore, like the stars in the sky. Brother and sister, well, here we have a picture of God's mercy right here in front of us, and we just read right past it. You know what I'm talking about? Of every kindred, that's every tongue. Just think of uh, all the different tongues. So uh, of every tongue, that means uh, look across this world. In every uh, in all the different uh, nations, let's see what it says. Of every kindred, every people, every tongue, say, brothers and sisters, he's taking the people from all of these. That's a great multitude, and I believe it. I believe. Uh, <clears throat> I believe the only way that could happen is he went all the way back to Adam. In my view, so. Uh, Something going on that we don't know about, uh, brothers and sisters, in my view. 
because uh, I don't know what the population of the earth was in, uh, back in the first century, but certainly I don't think it was that much. But anyway, I'm just, what well, I'm putting it is this. I believe that God is much more richer in mercy than we even can imagine. And everything he'll have preeminence. Anyway, just wanted to put that out here this morning try and correct the names that I didn't call right, you know. I don't believe there's any condition placed upon a child of grace whatsoever. I believe it's unconditional. And uh, <clears throat> I hope I've done a better job of putting it that way. Now, I believe that uh, every everyone that God has chosen from the foundation of the earth and, pl and placed it in that book of life, placed that name in, in a book of life, and, and nobody can get up there and put their name in it so it's got to, it's you know to me that's wonderful say <laughs> that's wonderful news you know that i don't have to do anything because it's already written there or it's not written there you see what i'm saying and uh and god will uh, like i said in one of my other books god will divide you know he's the only one qualified to uh to uh divide the sheep from the goats or the, the the tares from the uh the wheat wheat from the tares. He's the only one qualified, so we don't have to worry about it. Uh, let everybody grow together. Let it all uh, at the end. It'll be all sorted out. But uh, I would like to uh, go over this little verse one more time here at the end, just for everybody's uh uh just for uh something for something people to ponder. Um, on this uh, <clears throat> belief matter that uh, is, uh, you know, uh, Jesus said, blessed are those that believe. <clears throat> he said that there would be a people, I think it's whole Thomas says, Thomas, uh, you know, he wanted to put his fingers in the hole in his hands and he told Thomas that that there would be a blessed people, blessed people, Say, these people were blessed down the road here that believe in him, yet have not seen. Say. So the blessing comes first. If you believe in Jesus, it's because you're blessed. And uh, But uh, now the question is, the, the question for, of the ages is, does everybody believe? Do all of God's children believe? Well, I don't, like I said on one of my other videos, I don't believe that anybody is going to go into God's heaven, <laughs> the world to come, and not know who, know who Jesus is. I believe all God's children have the Spirit of Christ living within them. <clears throat> and uh, But I do also believe that a lot of them are unaware of it. Because, you know, one time it said over in Revelation, we said, uh, we weren't, we didn't even uh, know that, uh, when did we do this for you, Lord? Say, God's people. It's so. It's so. Uh, that when did we? Uh, when did we? You know, he was talking about giving them a cup of water and visited them in the, in when they were sick and stuff like that. And he said, uh, the, and these people said, "Oh, when did we do?" They were unaware of anything, any good thing that they had done. Say, brothers and sisters, unlike the self righteous people, that are always pointing towards something they they did or do. You know. So, in my view, brothers and sisters, uh, lots of God's people aren't even aware of the state of grace that they're in. Say. And uh, the, the, uh, lots of them have, have a physical uh, <clears throat> preacher or that found out about Jesus in different ways. You know what I'm saying, brothers and sisters? Uh, uh, great multitudes couldn't even read. You know, all through the dark ages. But what I'm putting out there is all God's children will have his spirit dwelling in them. Their level of knowledge about uh, his son are, is going to differ, especially all those in the Old Testament. <clears throat> but uh, I'm going to read this verse here to kind of close things off. I believe everybody that is born of God, that Jesus, our high priest, washed, him, washed them in his own blood. That's what I believe. 
and uh, they'll have his spirit and they'll be in heaven if God has chosen them from the foundation of the earth and he loves them. The whole thing's based on love. Whoever he loves is going to be with you. But anyway, I want to read this little thing here for, just for consumption on uh, and, uh, for people to think about. I put it in one of my other videos, but I'm going to do one, just this one right here and talking about the gospel. Well, are there any, any people going to be in heaven that, that didn't believe the gospel? And you can you can <laughs> make of it what you want to make of it. I'm gonna fix and read it to you. And these were uh, uh, these were Paul thinking back about his Jewish brethren uh, that uh, natural Israel, not uh, uh, spiritual Israel, but natural Israel. Some of his brethren that were, uh, you know, he had he had left, so, and he. Uh, he was a believer in Christ. So. But anyway, he was thinking back on these people. In my view, that's what this scripture is talking about. He was thinking back on it. And anyway, he says, as concerning the gospel, they are enemies for your sakes. But as touching election, they are beloved of the Father, beloved for the Father's sake. You see what I'm saying, brothers and sisters? Here we have enemies. Paul's Jewish brethren that were his enemies still offering animal sacrifice. The temple had not yet been torn down, and they were still uh, suffering under the law and uh, uh, giving Paul and them fits. Uh, they were his enemies. You see what I'm saying, brothers and sisters? And uh, just tell me, how is that believing? Is that believing the gospel? Belief in the gospel is a blessing from God, brothers and sisters. It's a special blessing. A special. I got that in another video. Belief in Jesus Christ is a special blessing. But uh, uh, in this portion of this view, it looks like to me that not everybody <laughs> had, had that privilege. Say. But anyway, uh, it's a special blessing in my, in my view. Blessed is a man whom the Lord will not impute sin. But see, I, there are some people here that, I, in my view, that did not believe the gospel because who, how is that believing the gospel? Persecuting the early church and still offering an animal sacrifice. But it says, as concerning the gospel, they're your enemies. Well, how is that uh, believing the gospel, brother? So that's just a question I'm asking you. But as touching election, they are beloved of the Father. But I love them anyway, is what he's saying because I got the name written down up there. And then he goes on down here below at the end here, brothers and sisters. And he says, uh, so I have just decided, and this is in verse 32, for God has concluded, God has come to the conclusion, he's made a decision on this. For God has concluded them all in unbelief that he might have mercy upon all. In other words, all the people that God has chosen from the foundation of the earth, he's concluded, he's concluded Everyone, the whole human race in unbelief, believe, uh, his people, whoever they are, in unbelief. And it says that he might have mercy upon all. Anybody that is, winds up in God's glory world, brothers and sisters, it will be because of his great love and his rich mercy. And I came the same way you came, brothers and sisters, and, every, like, and everybody else comes. And it comes from unconditional grace, brothers and sisters. That's what the that's what old boy down here out of Alabama has on his mind this morning. I remade that other video because I kept calling John, Paul John. I hope I didn't in this one. I'll play it back. I might have to do this and over. But anyway, peace and love from this old boy down here in Alabama. And I hope to see you later on today.